What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to another video and in today's video we're going to be reviewing four. Let's do this. Guys, thank you so much again for coming back to another video, another MCU review, continuing my reviews to do all of the MCU films. Thor was next on the list, and I went ahead and put that in my next poll on Instagram, and you guys voted for, for Thor way over Gremlins 2. I guess I'm not too, too surprised, but yeah, Thor is next, and let's do this. So this film stars Chris Hemsworth as the titular role of Thor. You have Anthony Hopkins as Odin. You have Natalie Portman playing Jane Foster, and you have Tom Hiddleston as Loki. And yeah, I have always really loved this film. I think it's a great time. I think that they did an amazing job of being able to bring the character from the comic books as just super over the top, just crazy Viking type hero that just has this almost Shakespearean kind of monologues in the comic books and, you know, and ground him and make him, you know, you know, he's still silly in this movie, but it's because of this movie that we're able to really enjoy his progression throughout the rest of the MCU and where he is today. And I think this film did an amazing job of really bringing the original character of Thor to screen with the silliness and all, and they really just leaned into the kind of movie that this movie needs to be. So as usual, no spoilers for those of you who have never seen this movie, and I know there's a lot of people right now after Endgame who really just want to watch all of the MCU and catch up on the MCU because they never saw it before, they just kind of like didn't get to it, maybe they just wasn't their thing, but now they're a little bit more interested, so I do not want to spoil it for anybody who has not seen it before, but you know, it's a pretty straightforward film, and let me just give you the basic premise. So this film centers on Thor, who is the prince and rightful heir to the throne of a planet called Asgard, essentially a planet of Viking-like, god-like, strong beings. He's the rightful heir, and he's just, you know, really excited to become king, and it's everything that he's dreamed of as a kid. During a ceremony that would lead him on the way to becoming king, uh, there is a group of another alien species that comes and breaks into their vault and comes to try to steal something from Asgard. And Thor is kind of cocky. He's arrogant in this film. He, you know, he thinks he's super strong. He thinks he's just a super badass. And though he's, you know, saved countless worlds and he's, you know, become a hero in the eyes of many, he's kind of let that get to his head. So after this other alien race breaks into the Asgardian vault to rob from them, Thor puts together a small group of people, including his best friends and his brother, to go to Jotunheim and fight them, essentially, you know, take them down for what they've done. He does it in secret knowing that his father, Odin, played by Anthony Hopkins, would not want him to do this. And, you know, he does it very arrogantly and very, you know, again, he was very cocky. This leads to a really cool action sequence and gets, ends up getting Thor in trouble. Odin has to stop it and essentially has to stop a civil war from happening between these two planets. This leads to one of my favorite scenes in the movies between Chris Hemsworth and Anthony Hopkins where Anthony Hopkins' character Odin essentially banishes him down to Earth, removing all of his powers, stripping his ability to hold the hammer. He is no longer worthy and essentially tells him that he needs to build up and work to become the Thor that he is supposed to be. Once on Earth, he comes across Jane Foster, played by Natalie Portman, and yeah, it's essentially a story about a guy who has to reclaim claim who he is, realize that he has become this arrogant, cocky person, realize that he is not worthy of holding the hammer. And, you know, it's this self-realization kind of story. I've always really enjoyed that. I love that they took a character that's just so over the top and just the way he speaks and the, the voice and everything about him. It's just so, like I said, almost Shakespearean, almost back in the day, just writing, you know what I mean? And I think that they did an amazing job of being able to ground a character like that, where they lean into the silliness of the way he speaks and the kind of things that he will say, while putting him in a scenario and around people who hear what he's saying and think, like, what's wrong with you, guy? So I won't go too much further into any spoilers or anything that happens, but yeah, this is a, you know, reclaim yourself kind of story, a realization of who you need to be kind of story. And I think this movie executes on those things. There's some really great performances across the film, some real big standouts right out of the gate. Of course, are Chris Hemsworth as Thor. I mean, he, I can't see anybody else as the role. He is Thor. He is Thor. And it's crazy to think that Tom Hiddleston, who plays Loki and is Loki, like he is just absolutely that role 110%. He's done an amazing job of building that role up. And the two of these have, throughout all of these films, these two actors have done an incredible job of just really becoming Thor and Loki, and I think they're easily the biggest standout roles in this film. I also really love Anthony Hopkins as Odin. Anthony Hopkins is just a phenomenal actor, and I just think that it's hard to watch a movie with him in it and think that he gave a bad performance. 
performance, whether the movie sucks or not. Uh, he's just a fantastic performer, and he just really just brings this this nuance to his characters. But it really is crazy to think that Tom Hiddleston was once going to play Thor, or at least he auditioned for Thor. You know, at first Tom was up for Thor. He trained, he came in, he was ripped, you know, he was swinging the hammer in the ring. He did a tremendous job, but he wasn't Thor. And the moment he came in and read, though, it was Loki. I really could never have seen Tom Hiddleston as Thor, and you know, I think Marvel definitely made the correct decision in not casting him as Thor. But yeah, I really enjoy this film, guys. I think it's a lot of fun. I think there's some really great action. For some reason, people always put this on like the lower half or the very low tier of their Marvel films, and I think this film definitely doesn't get all the credit that it deserves. I think it looks good. There's some cheesy elements for sure. I think you know some of the comedy is going to be hit or miss depending on what makes you laugh. But for the most part, I think this film is very, very action-packed. It's got some real heart, some real charm, and it's got a real great story of realizing who you need to be in order to become the person that you really want to be or maybe think you are, you know? As well as some great MCU connections that further the MCU and are getting us closer and closer to the first Avengers film. And every time I watch this film, I just think that it does such an amazing job of being a Thor film. If you grew up reading the comic books, watching animated series or shows or movies that had Thor in it, he was a character that was always over the top and, and very silly and I think they did an amazing job of grounding him while also realizing the kind of character that he needed to be for this first film. And I cannot commend Marvel enough for being able to really execute on what this movie needed to be and just the overall character, the script. You know, there could have been things that were stronger, there are definitely elements about it that are not the greatest of the MCU franchise as a whole, but I think they did a really great job of bringing Thor to life in the first ever live action Thor film and I do highly recommend this film if you've never seen it. Also, real quick, I want to give a couple of shout outs to some channels that have been supporting me and they gave me some shout outs recently and just some channels that are good friends of mine and I want to see them get more supporters so go ahead and check out Raven Reviews really awesome guy he does a lot of really great just vocal audio only um, reviews but he's got great visuals different snapshots from the film going on the entire time and he's a really cool guy a really nice guy and he just gave me a really nice shout out in the last video and I do appreciate the kind words my friend so if you're watching this here's a shout out for you I definitely recommend all of you guys go check out his channel and all the other channels I'm about to shout out go down in the description box down below and you will find the link to his channel so you guys can go subscribe if you're into this kind of content and, and just talking about movies with other people and hearing their thoughts on it like I am I think you'll have a really good time listening to his content the other channel I want to give a shout out to right now is the big Rob theory one of my best friends we met in sixth grade we've been best friends ever since he just recently started his reviews for rush hour and he's gonna do rush hour two and three I highly highly recommend you guys go and check out his content really awesome guy really funny guy he's building up his channel right now and he deserves all the love right now I definitely recommend going to check out his channel one of my best friends and I could not recommend his channel enough and the last shout out I'll give right now is to my friend Jaquit over at Q reviews awesome guy we made friends here here on YouTube back when I just started doing YouTube and we have uh, continued being friends on social media and communicating and just talking and I really just want to see this guy's channel blow up he's been doing this for a while and he deserves all the recognition in the world he's super funny way funnier than me and I really do enjoy his videos he's got great camera quality great comedic you know relief and he's got a great background I really enjoy his background tons to look at and I do highly highly recommend you guys go check out Q reviews and all of the other channels that I just gave a shout out to so make sure you guys go to the description box down below and go and check out their links give them a subscribe let them know that I sent you I would really appreciate it and I'm sure they would too so yeah guys thank you so much for watching another video if you guys are not already following me on Instagram you can also go down to the description box and find the Instagram link follow me on Instagram so you guys can keep up with my story polls where I am just adding different polls for what I should review next Thor was the next winner so we'll see what I end up posting next but thank you guys so much for all of you who have gone and voted and are watching these reviews that you are voting for I really really do appreciate it you guys are awesome thank you for the constant support I really could not be doing this and wouldn't be doing this without the constant push and drive from so many friends that I've made here on YouTube or just the various people who just come and check out the channel whether I know you or not thank you guys again for watching this video make sure you guys hit that like button let me know your thoughts on Thor down below where does this rank for you in the MCU and yeah make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already done that and I will see all of you guys in the next video bye bye